warned this video will contain spoilers. Hey there, Invincible fans. Get ready to dive into the action-packed conclusion of Season 2. Because things are about to get intense, we're breaking down the finale and unpacking the significance behind Omni-Man's final words. Throughout Season 2, we've been treated to a roller coaster of fresh storylines and familiar faces, building upon the massive success of the first season. And boy, did this installment raise the stakes. Mark and the Guardians of the Globe faced a whole new set of challenges, with former enemies flipping the script and becoming unexpected allies. Now, let's talk about Omni-Man's journey in the latter part of Season 2. Captured by the Viltrum Empire and facing execution, things looked bleak for Nolan. But enter Alan the Alien, swooping in with a plan to rescue him. It's through Alan's telepathic connection that we get a glimpse of Nolan's inner turmoil, with his surprising admission, I miss my wife. This moment is huge, considering Omni-Man's past views on love and his allegiance to the Viltrum Empire. It's a pivotal step in his redemption arc and a sign of his readiness to fight for what truly matters. But let's shift our focus to Mark Grayson. Throughout the series, he's been adamant about avoiding killing. However, in a shocking turn of events, he ends up taking Angstrom's life in the season two finale. The catalyst? A direct threat to his family. Mark's loss of control highlights the dangerous consequences of messing with his loved ones and sets the stage for some serious inner conflict in future seasons. And speaking of inner conflict, let's talk about that moment between Mark and Eve in the final scene. Many of us were expecting a big confession of love, especially after future Eve hinted at it. But Mark holds back. Is it guilt over his past with Amber? Uncertainty about his feelings? We'll have to wait for season three to get the full story. So there you have it, folks. Season two of Invincible wraps up with a bang, leaving us hungry for more. What were your favorite moments from the finale? And what are your predictions for season three? Drop them in the comments below, and let's keep the Invincible hype train rolling.